Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to my Ella apostles and Bishop Ellas of Great Millstone who taught me this truth as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. Whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. To you, I say Shalom, beginning with the 144,000 prophets. And Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, willing, this lesson is edifying and informative. My name is Kwanawath, and in today's lesson, we will read and filter this article entitled TSA Visited Apple and Google to discuss collaboration for digital ID published April the 30th 2024 by the source we claim the net laws and we will filter this article through scriptures and laws willing it will be edifying to the elect TSA's push for biometric technology now the word bio means living or alive metric means measure and again it reads the TSA's push for biometric or living measure technology and digital IDs with big tech aims to streamline airport security. In other words, streamline means make an organization or system more efficient and effective by employing faster or simpler working methods. Design or provide with a form that preserves, excuse me, that rather presents very little resistance to a flow of air or water increasing speed and ease of movement so the word streamline means to make more efficient and effective by employing faster or simpler working methods and they ultimately seek to do so through the rfid microchip which is the mark of the beast written up in the book of revelation the 13th chapter the 16th verse on down to the last verse in europe it is known as the nfc chip implant it stands for near field communication it is also known as the biochip implant again bio means living or alive and it is also known as the brain chip implant i.e elon musk's Neuralink, including many others. So, they aim to streamline airport security. And not only will it streamline so called airport security, but it will also ultimately streamline the agenda of the elites which again is to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their forehead so that they may be able to surveil everyone upon the planet Earth very easily. All right, through their neural order and to have total control well, raises concerns over passenger privacy and government surveillance. And this will always be something that they will use to so-called coax 
uh, the minds of people across the globe into eventually willingly uh, going out there and taking that chip once they uh, introduced and subsequently mandated across the globe. So-called passenger privacy. Your privacy matters. Your privacy is important. Protect your privacy. And government surveillance. Tired of censorship and surveillance? Defend free speech and individual liberty online. Push back against big tech and media gatekeepers. And this is obviously a ad written on. It says the U.S. Transportation Security Administration, TSA, is continuing collaboration with big tech concerning the use of biometric surveillance technology, but also the development of digital IDs for passengers. On site, the TSA revealed that its officials traveled to California, uh, California rather, excuse me, recently, where they met with representatives of Apple and Google to talk about continuing work on implanting digital ID on people's phones. And eventually, it will be people's uh, right hands or foreheads next. And there are people out there in the world that already have the chip, but it will become a lot more common in the near future. And eventually, all people on the earth will be required to have this device implanted under their right hands or in their foreheads. But the Lord, but the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Shai will protect and preserve the elect and keep the elect from the hour of temptation, which is the hour of trial through the idea of piercing when they will mandate the RFID microchip which is the mark of the beast across the globe. Reading on, it says the TSA delegation to Silicon Valley, led by Administrator David P. Koski, referred to Apple and Google as their intervention partners. The goal is to continue with yet another example of public-private a.k.a. Government Big Tech Partnership. This one seems to be happening fully in the open, and at least TSA is enthusiastic about talking about it because it concerns the surveillance of people, which ultimately will be through the mark of the beast and spelling it out. TSA is working with the tech giants so passengers can identify themselves with IDs stored in their phones at airports. And again, not only will this be associated with passengers at airports, but it will also ultimately be associated with every single individual except the elect of the nation of Israel, whom the Lord will preserve upon the earth. As for those private companies, Google explained that the collaboration in question has to do with Google Wallet and the ability to store a government ID in the app to allow TSA pre-check in select airports. That was something Google revealed to the Washington Times back in 2023. To this latest TSA site post, neither Google nor Apple had any comment. But Connie La Rosa, Google's senior policy manager, government affairs and public policy, posted on LinkedIn that the company is looking forward to being part of the TSA's vision for the future of travel. And this is nothing more than gradualism, which, again, we all know and understand where this is all heading. And what is gradualism? Gradualism is the idea of achieving a desired mean through uh, gradual stages, including policies. It says, what 
That feature holds, according to TSA Chief Innovation Officer Stephen Parker, who also took the LinkedIn, is digital IDs of this type being accepted at airports in approximately 20 states. And eventually, again, it will be transitioned to the MOTB. That will be required and not just accepted at airports, ferries, bridges and tunnels, shopping malls, grocery stores, your Costco's, your key foods, so on and so forth. And without it, you won't be able to part thing in society. The incentive for travels or travelers rather, excuse me here, is to get through airport lines faster and shorten the suffering that air traveler has been inflicting on people for the last 20 plus years. And this is their excuse. And not just this, but it also say, oh, for your safety as well. You are creating an event that will justify why the safety will be stressed and why it will need to be stressed in addition to uh, lines faster and shorter. Interestingly, in March, the Biden White House said there were effectively no rules that would allow travelers to opt out of TSA's facial recognition process without losing their place in line. And they'll say, see, if you take, if you, uh, if you opt out of uh, facial recognition uh, procedures, it will slow down uh, your process of, you know, eventually getting on a plane and getting out of here quicker. It'll maybe cause a delay or two or three. And they might use some kind of excuse, you know, anything to ultimately persuade people into taking that C hip when they when they mandate it across the globe. And this is from Stephen Park Kerr on uh what it looks to be LinkedIn. TSA's vision is to be an agile security agency embodied by a professional workforce that engages its partners and the American people to outmatch a dynamic threat. Working with our Silicon Valley partners and fast adoption of commercial tech is one way to stay agile. Agile means swift or, or fast. Then TSA came back to state this was not a new option. And the White House updated its statement to say that, uh, to say this rather, excuse me, was not indeed new, but continued to be the case. Reality on the ground, however, can be quite different. As Senator Jeff Markley, a Democrat, found out when he tried to avoid facial recognition at a Washington airport last year. <laughs> Reports the newspaper Markley was pressured by a TSA officer who told the senator to step aside while others were allowed to bypass him. See? See? That's the spirit, man. It says... The senator published a video showing the TSA officer's actions on the website. Is this the kind of policy the White House says is not continuing? And this concludes the article. So, again, eventually it's going to come down to the chip when they mandate it across the globe. And they'll create all kinds of uh, scenarios, all kind of events that would justify why every single in individual upon the, the earth will need to have it, either in their right hands or in their foreheads, because no man will be able to buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this is where this is all is going. And this is nothing more than gradualism, brothers and few sisters, towards their end goal. This is their new world order. But again, the Lord will preserve his elect. So I'll just read Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 18 real quick. And a couple other more verses, Abu Ratizah, and then conclude the lesson. Lord is willing, it has been edifying and informative, as that is the purpose of these lessons. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he, he is referring to the wicked. And who is the wicked? The Edomites. 
beginning with their begging families. Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 tells us that Esau, Edom, is the wicked. And it begins with their hegemony, their rulership. Including their banking families, their Rothschilds, their Gettys, their DuPonts, their McDonald's, their Lees. So on and so forth. Because of all, all people on the earth, except for the elect of the nation of Israel, both small and great, from a newborn baby to an elderly senior in society, Rich and poor, whether they be rich or poor, free and bond, whether they be free or in bondage in the jail systems, to receive a mark. That mark is the RFID market chip, the mark of the beast. The word mark in the Greek is koragon, which means a stamp or imprinted mark. The root word of koragma is charax, which means a palace or a stake, which is the syringe mechanism that they will use to puncture the flesh of individuals to then insert that card one that stamped that imprinted mark, which is the RFID microchip, also known as the NFC chip implant in Europe, also known as the biochip implant, also known as the brain chip implant. The root word of Chiroxis grapho, which means of the writings, filled with the writings, filled with the records, because within the chip is where people's information will be filled, where will, will be recorded, will be kept, including their financial information, and so on and so forth. All right, in their right hand or in their forehead, in front of their brains. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, which the beast is the pagan Roman Empire, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU and America, being an extension of that empire, that is the beast. And the image of the beast is a system of the beast, which comprises is financial architecture, is M to the E to the D to the I to the C, you know the rest. Architecture, I have to say it like that so they don't flag this video for medical misinformation. Okay. Their architectural infrastructure, their laws, their democracy, their uh, philosoph philosophical infrastructure. Everything that comprises this man's system is the image. Okay. And those that worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in, the, in their forehead or in their hands, they're going to suffer the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. According to Revelation chapter 14, verse uh, 10 on down. You could really start at 9. It says, Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding come the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And the number is six hundred trees scoring six, 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 six. All right. So that's the number of the beast. So I quoted Revelation chapter 14 earlier. So... I I will read in fact let me read Revelation chapter 16 since I quoted Revelation chapter 14 because those that take that chip they're gonna they're, they're, they're gonna experience a cancer this is Revelation chapter 16 verse 2 and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore a cancer Upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped this image. And I broke down what the image is earlier. Pardon me. So. With that, I will conclude the lesson here. Lord, as long as it has been edifying and informative to the elect. And um, I, I will leave the link to the article in the description box of the lesson. Lord's link. I say shalom until the next.